My name is Luke O'Neill and I am Professor of Biochemistry in the School of Biochemistry and Immunology. The research I work on is in the immune system, so I'm an immunologist, which means I'm very interested in how the body fights infections. And of course the immune system is this wonderful system which, which keeps us all alive effectively because it fights viruses, bacteria, fungi and does a wonderful job. Without the immune system none of us would be here and we wouldn't even have evolved probably because it's always been a war against these various microbes. Um, and of course when it goes wrong you get horrible diseases and we've got a big interest in things like malaria, TB, loads of different infectious diseases that really afflict humanity. So we're trying to find out more about the immune system uh, to understand those diseases. The second big area where the immune system goes wrong is a disease like rheumatoid arthritis. And again, we've got a major interest in that disease. And that's where the immune system turns on our own bodies, would you believe, and begins to attack our own tissues and destroy our joints. There's many diseases like that. They're called autoimmune diseases. Another one will be MS, for instance, in the brain, uh, psoriasis in the skin, inflammatory bowel disease. All of these involve immune system gone rogue, if you like, when it begins to attack ourselves. We've no idea why this happens. So, of course, the research has to try to figure out what's gone wrong in those diseases. And the third area is cancer, interestingly. So we've got a big interest in cancer because cancer is kept at bay by our immune systems and many people believe the cure for cancer will come from the immune system. So my research is all about trying to figure out the nuts and bolts of how the immune system works and then trying to use that information to design new treatments for all these diseases. The School of Biochemistry and Immunology, it's got about maybe 150 people I guess in total. It's split between two disciplines, biochemistry and immunology. My area kind of straddles the two because biochemistry is all about the molecular basis for life and the, and, and the sort of chemicals that make up living systems. I happen to work on those chemicals in the immune system. So the two areas are very important to me, I guess. And then within immunology, it's really been exciting because we've built up from one, which was me, about 10 years ago. Uh, we now have seven labs in immunology, all of them doing a fantastic job, really, doing wonderful research. And a good example of that actually can be seen. We were rated third in the world, would you believe, which was a great thing to find out. Uh, this year and that was based on the impact of our publications. So Trinity Immunology is making a huge impact in terms of what our publications are doing such that we, were, we came out third in the world and we're such, such a small country and such a small unit to get, to get third in the world was a really big achievement. So I guess in terms of immunology we're doing very well as a school. Yeah, my, my own goals are always about just trying to find out new interesting things, to be honest. And I began in this business 25 years ago when I did a PhD in London, all about inflammation and rheumatoid. So I've been on a relatively long journey from then. And the most exciting bit for that 25 years is progressive discoveries. And I would have made maybe five or six discoveries in my career that I'm particularly proud of that would have had an influence on the field and would have helped other people make their discoveries. So the goal is, first of all, just to make progress the whole time towards greater understanding of these highly complex systems. What greater thrill can there be to study life itself, you know, as a science? And really, we work at the very molecular level. So we, we work on cells, we work on DNA, we work on genes, we work on proteins. We're breaking up these systems into their component parts. And that in itself to me is, is a wonderful adventure to study. It's a great privilege in many ways to, to, to study life in that way and discover new aspects about life. Now the mission then gets more focused, of course. And in my own research, I really have tracked it back to the origin of these diseases in many ways. So we know the trigger probably is infectious. I mean, we think diseases like rheumatoid may well be sparked by an infection. And then we've worked out really how, the, how that infection is getting sensed and how that then applies to rheumatoid. And would you believe it's a bit like dominoes, as the analogy I use, and it's a domino effect. And we're identifying all the dominoes. The last one is pain say, which is the disease and swelling and horrible joint destruction. We've now made huge progress on tracking those dominoes back. And we're back really towards the first domino. And in particular, uh, what I work on in, in specifically is called innate immunity. And this is the built-in immune system that's in our bodies. It's ready to go at the start of an infection. And it turns out this innate immune system is driving rheumatoid. And we're working on the very, very initiation of that process by studying this innate immune process. And I'll give you one more little specific example. We discovered, I suppose, about 10 years ago now, we were part of this revolution in immunology, really, which uncovered the nuts and bolts of this innate immune system. And a set of proteins called toll-like receptors were found, or TLRs. These are there to sense infection at the very start of an infectious process. But it turns out they're also going crazy in a rheumatoid joint. And these are driving everything that happens next. 
And much of my research at the moment is about characterizing those tolls, figuring out how they work, trying to work out how they fit into disease, and ultimately then designing new therapies that would, that would stop that domino from falling over. Because of course, if the first domino doesn't fall, the rest can't fall either. So again, it's a wonderful sense of excitement that we've tracked it back to that initiation point, really. And it's wonderful to think we're very close now to a really deep understanding of, the, of these diseases, which will ultimately benefit patients through, through the use of, of new medicines. It's a wonderful time to be in immunology, actually, and it's also a wonderful time to be in Trinity, because this biosciences development is absolutely a fantastic thing for us, because it will allow us to really hit the heights, we think. And of course, we are performing extremely well as a, as a group, uh, but now we've got even bigger ambitions. We really want to make an impact in immunology internationally. And that in turn then will help patients because we'll hopefully make discoveries that will impact on diseases like malaria or TB or asthma or eczema. There's so many diseases out there where there's a huge amount of suffering and a huge amount of need. And research in Trinity in the biosciences development will in no doubt contribute to the discoveries that will give rise to new treatments.